Well, howdy folks, welcome back to my channel. And I just realized it's kind of ironic I'm wearing my iVoid warranty shirt. And I'm about to tell you about a warranty that I probably just voided. <laughs> anyway, if you're a subscriber to the channel, you probably saw my recent video where I unboxed this. This is a 3D printed travel ukulele that I got off of eBay. Um, and I got this because I do sometimes have to travel for work and I thought it would be you know, easy to pack along with you. Now, if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it up here. So make sure you go check that out. Um, probably wanna watch that first, but anyway, after um, I made that video, I was playing it a little bit and I noticed it had a few sharp edges around some of these things. And that happens with 3D printed things and you can usually take them off pretty easily with a piece of sandpaper. So I did that. So I grabbed a piece of sandpaper and I was sanding off all those edges. Remember I mentioned during the video that this here was a sharp corner and I was like, I wish this would have been like, you know, rounded or actually had some wheels or something to help the strings from binding. Well, I just sort of rounded it out with the sandpaper at the same time. So I kind of <laughs> started going to town. Then I realized that there was a hole here and also this hole through this and they did not have screws in them. Well, you can see there's a screw there now and there's a screw there now. So I put screws in there and I realized that the tuners that were in there, so you might notice these are different tuners, not the ones that came with it. The tuners that were in there were these, they had the black buttons. And I realized that these were pretty low quality tuners. And I'm gonna show you here. The idea of a tuner is the shaft should not have very much play in it at all. And look at this, look at how much that that wiggles. That shaft has a lot of play in it. And just so you don't think I'm just picking on one, here's another one. This one has even more, right? So these are not high quality tuners at all. They should not really have a lot of play. These are the ones I replaced it with. Here's one of the ones that I didn't use from the set, but you can see virtually no play in that. The It had shipped with four of the same tuners. Now, if you're familiar with string instruments, you know there's a such thing as a right and a left tuner. Well, this had four of the same one. So when I put these tuners on, you can now see, you can see the holes, unfortunately, but that is what it is. I'd much rather have better tuners on there. Now, you may have also noticed this. What the heck is that? That looks like a quarter inch jack. Indeed, it is. So also why I had it apart, I made it electric. So what I did is I took one of these little 10 millimeter piezos, little bitty things like this, and I actually hot glued it to the bottom under here. I can't really show you. I tried to get a picture of it, but you can't really see because it's up under there. But basically right underneath the bridge, I glued it. That jack just bare, has just enough room to clear the back wall here and clear where the tuner goes in. I mean, it's, it's, it's really tight, but it fits. The action on this thing was quite high. So I actually sanded down this little bridge piece and um, I sanded it down quite a bit. I'll put a photo on the screen for reference. It's still a little bit high. It could probably take a little more, but that alone, those few things, so the tuners, uh, the jack, the bridge modification, the rounding here on the back, the screws, and then getting rid of any of those sharp things did make it a lot more playable. Additionally, I did put some uh, position markers here. I just made those with a paint pen so they aren't perfect, but they do their job. They make it so you can see you know, where the third, fifth, seventh fret are at at just a glance. So all of that goes together and uh, this thing actually ends up playing a lot nicer. Now, another thing that I figured out is if I tuned it one step down from standard ukulele tuning, it made the tension a little more pleasant because it had quite a bit of tension in there when it was in standard tuning. So instead of being tuned G, C, E, A, it's tuned A, B flat, D, G. So one of the things I noticed, it's not very loud, I'll show you. It's really easy to sing a lot louder than this little uke. And I hate the sound of my own voice, it makes me wanna puke. Okay, anyway. Well, you take the cable and the amp, plug those in. This uke is now quite loud, it's hard to sing over it. This uke is now quite loud, but my voice still sounds like... So there you go, folks. That's a quick summary of the mods I did to the 3D printed travel ukulele. I'm looking forward to taking this on my next trip and trying it out in a hotel room or whatever. I think it's going to work out great. Now, if you like what I do on this channel, I would really appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button for me. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys soon.